You know, the way the educational system is built in the United States, students don't spend a whole lot of time thinking about who they are and what they want and, and who they want to be. Um, they, they sort of passively accept the curriculum that's given to them. And one of the things that we've learned as we've created more interdisciplinary courses that focus on depth uh, rather than speed of coverage is that students can create a kind of path that takes them from ninth grade through 10th grade all the way through senior year in a way that they can get really excited about. Our mission is to build critical, ethical, global thinkers. And the way we do that is by pushing our students to ask questions, to push them to places that perhaps they haven't explored before. And along the way, they're going to develop their voice. One of the really wonderful things about our upper school schedule is that it allows for a great deal of flexibility for our students. So in the ninth grade, their curriculum is pretty much set up for them. Um, they have a common English class and a common history class, and they all take biology. They get to choose their language class, um, and they get to choose their arts classes. Their choice really expands by 10th grade. They're able to choose all of their English and history classes with topics ranging from Shakespeare to satire to India to the history of Latin America. Being in India was probably one of the best experiences of my life. I saw all this amazing architecture and then also people living like I had never seen people living before and that sort of inspired my interest in maybe pursuing sustainable housing. India was sort of that first step into pushing me to do architecture. In 11th grade, they're able to choose something that speaks to their, their particular interests, where they get their first really significant choices um, in the science classes they can take. The Science Research and Design program, I think it's a really unique program. It's a three-year long course, and every year you delve deeper into what exactly excites you about science. You really pave your own path for this specific course, and um, I was really fortunate enough to gain this opportunity to apply science and um, conduct my own science research about silver nanoparticles and antibiotic resistance. Another exciting opportunity for students in the sciences um, is to take an engineering course at NYU Polytechnic Institute with college professors. The NYU Polytechnic program is something that Berkeley Carroll offers outside of the academic curriculum and that program provided me a great gateway into um, exploring what does it mean to be an engineer and being able to go to a college campus is a unique opportunity in itself and these programs have set me up tremendously and uh, I think they've equipped me well to study them in college. Once we get to senior year they're basically choosing everything. Students can double up in their sciences, students can also double or triple up even at times in arts. There's a great deal of variety in what a senior, a senior year schedule will look like depending on the student and depending on that student's interests. I'm in two language courses and an English course, right? So what I find so appealing about it, it's not Spanish or French or Latin, what you'll find anywhere. I get to learn Arabic, an actual practical and not as common to learn language in the Western world. And so that's been nice that even though I can triple up in sciences, it doesn't stop me from doubling up in language or doing an independent study like I'm doing second semester in English where I'm working one-on-one -on -one with a teacher and something. And we see ourselves as an intellectual community. If you visit our classes you'll see many of them are seminar style. The teacher will ask questions. We rely on the kids to fuel those discussions, to engage one another, to really push one another. The emphasis is on deep learning, deep reading, um, rigorous study, with where they begin to examine their place in the world and how they can Im impact and change the world. The teachers inspire kids to go deeper and they really encourage curiosity and connections rather than kind of just thinking about what the material is. The way that they teach, like their approach to kind of creating connections between us, it's something that allows you to kind of figure out who you are and what you like and you can use the skills that they give you in the outside world. We know that uh, what's most important is that um, kids develop their interests, follow their passions. We want them to be active. We want them to be the collaborators. We want them to be the problem solvers. If they do that, if they've developed their own voice, if they know their place in the world, how they can impact the world, then they're going to be well situated for success in college and beyond, and they're going to find an experience that they're effective and successful.